What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. It has been quite a while since I've sat here and talked to you guys. So where have I been the last week? It's been quite a while since I've just, you know, sat here and talked to you guys. So you guys may be wondering what I was doing for the last week. Well, mainly I was editing on, you know, brand new videos. I was also making some videos for other channels because that's what I also do on almost a daily basis. So I have a really, really busy schedule. But today I finally got some time and got around to it to actually sit down and talk to you guys so in this video we're gonna go around you know how to create these epic text effects that you guys have been requesting for a while now so if you are excited for this make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new and i would say let's get started We have to decide what song that we're gonna use. So obviously we're gonna pick uh, the song, you know, a song from the copyright sounds. I'm going to pick this song, which is called Feel Again by Culture Code. What we need to do now is we need to turn on our printer because we're going to print out the lyrics of this song onto white paper. But that's what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to just go ahead and print out a few lines of the song and then we can get started. And it is very important that the difference between the paper right here is very, is hardly the same as the background because we need to cut that out afterwards. So what we can do is, for example, we can just do it like that, make it appear and then go out of the screen and then pick the next one. So that's what we're going to do. As you can see, we can make the text float however we want it, as you can see. But also you want to make sure that you're fingers are not in the screen at all just hold the paper in front of the camera and you want to do it that way so now that we are in vegas pro 15 what we're going to do is we're going to import the file that we just filmed as you can see with me like showing up the papers throwing them away picking the other ones so what we're going to do first of all is we're going to right click on the track and we're going to click on properties and we're going to make sure that we will uncheck maintain aspect ratio and disable the resample now we're going to click on ok and what we need to do is we're gonna, we need to make this a little bit more white. So we're gonna go to the uh, video effects tab, go to the brightness and contrast like this. Then you wanna pick the default one, drag it on there. And then you wanna go ahead and apply a little bit more contrast so it looks white because we need to invert the colors in just a second. Otherwise it's going to be gray. You cannot remove the black background that way. It's gonna be, it's just way too complicated. Just add some brightness and contrast to it and that's gonna be it. So then what we need to do is we need to import the original song so we're gonna just drag that song into Vegas all right here is the original song so we need to align that with the recording of the phone Okay, it's nice and aligned. That was very easy. So what we're gonna do then is we're going to click on the audio of the video. We're gonna press on U on your keyboard. Uh, and then we're gonna just delete the audio, place this guy right here. And then you want to just click on the video, hold left control, click on the audio. And then you want to press G on your keyboard or just right click and press group right here. And then just create new. So as you can see, this one is now stuck together. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to time all the lyrics on the video. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna just go ahead and cut it a little bit. You will see that the first one is on time, but then as the lyrics go faster, I had to, you know, I had a hard time keeping up, you know, because I was doing it on my own. Nobody was handing me all the lyrics, so I had to do this myself. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna press U to separate it right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and time all the lyrics on the song. 
I will stay like that. Take right here. Okay, so as you can see, this one, uh, it has a lot of space to it. So what we need to do is very simple, go to media generators, go to a solid color, pick white, drag that guy between it, and as you can see, that is how you fill up these spaces. That's it guys, video effects, go to the eye where it says invert, like that, pick this guy, and boom, right here, we have our inverted color, and now you can remove the black background, and then you will have transparent text. Right, so the upcoming video is actually a video from Vegas Pro 14 because this video is shot quite a while ago because you have to understand that, you know, the channel keeps growing with almost 4,000 subscribers every single month. All those new subscribers don't get to see previous videos. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, you know, some awesome effects and how to create these awesome epic text reveals and, you know, smoke text and how to create that awesome effect like the chain smokers also use. So make sure to go ahead and check out the upcoming video for how to create smoke text if you want me to go ahead and create some more videos of these, make sure to let me know down in the comments and let's move on to the actual video. As you can see right now, we are in Vegas and what we're going to do first is we're going to drag in the smoke transition I found online on YouTube. I just downloaded that one to my computer. So let's just drag in that one real quick. 12 seconds later. All right, guys. So this is the smoke uh, effect that I'm talking about and that we're going to use today. And we're going to make our letters and our word appear uh, when the smoke goes along, as you can see. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a chroma key on top of the smoke because we want to see through the smoke, not only black. So we're going to scroll down until we find a chroma key. We're going to drag the default one on there. We're going to change the color to black so we will actually, actually see through it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this one uh, to our you know to our text so what we're going to do is we're going to go to media generators we're going to click on titles and text we're going to add a default one and we're going to put that one underneath the text so let me create a new video track as you can see and we're going to put the smoke up above it as you can see right there then what we're going to do is we're going to make it as short as a smoke then we're going to type in i would say uh, just alex alfred we're going to make that one a little bit smaller I would say 20 maybe that's yeah that's that's great then we're gonna choose a nice different font because we want to have something a little bit different than the standard one so I think if we pick uh, this font that looks actually pretty great let me see if we have any other font or other fonts all right this one looks pretty good so we're gonna just close this out then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mask this text so what we're gonna do first of all is we are going to uh, check mask at the bottom then we're gonna just make a uh, piggy anchor creation tool then we're gonna make a little kind of a square ish rectangle uh next to the text so right, then we're gonna start using keyframes and then we're gonna make the text appear in the screen so what we're gonna do now is we're going to place our keyframe a little bit to right here to the right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, put the text actually then we're gonna start making the text appear so I'm gonna make a few keyframes uh, this one right here just drag this guy a little bit to the right so it will actually start to appear then also put a new keyframe down uh, drag it a little bit to there drag another keyframe place it a little bit more another keyframe until the fully text is fully visible so I think I need one more keyframe and as you can see right now just Alex Halford is full in the screen so let's see what it looks like without the actual uh, smoke as you can see that looks really great but we're gonna cut from where it starts so I'm just going to um, cut away this part as you can see now it's starting with the J so if I put the text over it and let me also uh, put the text a little bit to the right so, I'm, so it will look like it's synchronized with the smoke this is how it looks As you can see, that looks really amazing, guys. So this is how you make text, uh, like a text smoke effect, make the text appear uh, like under smoke. How you want to call this, this is how to do it.
that looks really awesome guys so this is how to do it i want to thank you for watching that is basically how simple it is you just want to animate the the text under the smoke and make the smoke uh, synchronize uh, with the letters as you can see so that looks really really awesome and this is how to do it now you can start doing it on your own text so i want to thank you for watching thank you for the continued support i will see you guys uh, tomorrow or maybe sunday with a new remake of an old video my old video the the how to drive a car easily video is actually Actually four years old on June 7th a couple of days ago so I just want to make a nice remake in 2017 so make sure to stay tuned and make sure to check out that video that will release either Saturday or Sunday I'm not really sure but I want to thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next video and so guys these were actually two really really cool effects you can use to create awesome music videos or just awesome you know text reveals in general if you want to make me a part two or just other videos in general not necessarily about text make sure to drop them down in the comments thank you so much for watching thank you for the continued support i'll see you guys obviously on a brand new video this friday so i'll catch you guys in about two days <laughs>